Hello, uh, my name is Aniket Singh. Uh, my major is in information technology and I'm from India. Uh, yeah, I was a bit good in English, but you know, I had to cope up with an American slang and everything. So AC program from UC was a very good start for me. It helped me get better in all the slangs and all the areas I wanted to. As soon as my SATs came out, uh, I had to like apply to colleges around Cincinnati and Ohio, like in the Ohio. Uh, I got into Cincinnati and I knew that I had to like go a little bit up in English language and AC program was introduced to me, like they told me that it's a very good start. And I got to know by Googling it a lot from the UC website. So I thought it would be a great start for me if I start from AC program. Uh, I had this favorite class, which is called as reading and writing skills. You know, initially when I joined the class, I had a bit problem writing the grammar part and uh, I couldn't understand the slang talk uh, like spoken here. Well, that class helped me a lot. Uh, the teacher actually used to give us a lot of writing works and we had to write papers and everything. So that eventually helped me get better in all the parts. Before I came here, I, ha I used to talk very hastily and I used to mismatch the words. But I guess I believe that now I'm able to talk in a polite way or a fluent way and not without very hastiness and yeah, in a good way. Well, the mostly every faculty in UC, I believe so, are very great. And personally, for that, in, by, by experience, I'm telling that. Uh, I've been into this program for one year and every teacher out there is super friendly and they help us out in any situation we need them to. Students who are not good in English or they believe that I could do better in English can take the ACE program because it actually teaches you from the very basic even though you know the language and it helps you get comfortable with the language as, as you go on with the subject and the course. It actually benefited me a lot because personally I've been in that program for one year and now I think I'm doing good and I hopefully think that every other student who choose this AC program will do good. So it's a better start for them if they go with the AC program and then with their major. If you're in UC and if you're not good in English, ACE is the place you'll start. The ACE program is actually a very good program. You know that uh, many students, I guess, so I believe that they have taken ACE program because initially when I joined the course or the program, there were students who told me that ACE program helped them a lot. Well, initially I didn't know that maybe or may not be, but I went through this uh, program for one year and yeah, I believe that I have improved a lot and it, had, it has helped me personally as well as professionally. So students who want to develop their skills in English and the language skills, they are recommended to take AC program and I would fully give my support to them. I'm into information technology now, so I want to become a cybersecurity analyst and you know work with the uh, internet side and you know prevent major uh, cyber attacks or something because I believe that in future if there's any war that's going to happen, it's only going to be cyber war. Other than that, all wars have taken place. So I just want to be a part and help the tech companies whatever I work for defeat them. I have been chosen as a ACE mentor by my advisor and she thinks that I can do a great job and I congratulate her for that and I'm very thankful for her for giving me this opportunity. I can actually prove myself and this being the first AC mentorship program, I think that my colleagues and me personally, we will be doing good and we'll help the best, we'll help the students and we'll do the best for them. It's been a tough year for us because for the past one year we've been taking online courses and we actually didn't get to revolve around the campus. Now that we're on campus, I hopefully believe that it's going to be a grateful year because I see there's a many there are many events popping up and we have our college day on the coming of Friday. So it's going to be very exciting. I'm in US like after 14 years. So I came here when I was a small kid and I had to go back. So I continued my studies there and thought that if I would if I would like discontinue and come here, it would be a problem for me. So I had to continue my studies there and my parents thought that USA will be a great start for me and they wanted me to pursue my undergrads here. So I'm here now doing my undergrads. So, so every country has their own religion, uh, their own stuffs and their own habits and ever.
food and everything. So I just believe that um, Americans, they should know that, uh, or they, if they're willing to, they, I'll, I'll be able to help them explain my country about whatever my country is famous for, or the country I've been living is famous for food and tradition. And everything is very different there. So if they're interested, yeah, I'll be, I'll be helping them with that. Uh, actually, there's a specific food called dosa. Uh, I don't know, like, yeah, we get, in America it is available, but you know, that Indian style, it's, is very uh, memorable. So that's the only food that I like and I love the most and I miss it here. So what I do is I try to prepare it myself, but it eventually fails. But yeah, 